What's up guys? I know if you're probably watching this video, you're in the middle of debating between getting the BMW gooseneck hitch for your Dodge Ford or Chevy or wanting to save $300 or half price and get the eBay brand hitch and you're kind of juggling between the two. Should I choose American made products, support them and get a better quality product and don't have to worry about anything or you're on a budget and you can get something for half price and you're also worrying about the workmanship and the quality put into this item. So let's dive into this real quick. I'm going to go over the pros and cons of this hitch, how much it costs versus the BMW hitches. And I'm going to show you a quick video of what it looks like and everything that came with it. So uh, let's get into this. So I bought this hitch for $277. That's including taxes off of eBay. I do not know where this was originally manufactured. I'm assuming China, overseas, or Mexico. Now, I don't know if these hitches have been tested either. It's probably a reason why these are much cheaper because they haven't actually been tested. Uh, strength tested like the BMW hitches. I'm sure my accusation is true because I went over the welds on this hitch and you can see whoever was welding this basically skipped about three inches of weld to, you know, connecting this major part of metal. So, you know, the welds look decent here. They ran it along. I don't know if he was just kind of sleepy that day, but he kind of just, you know, missed that area. But then he ended up connecting it with a good weld all the way across. Uh, the other side, not sure if it was the same dude. He may have been having a better day, but he ran a perfect welder cross. These inside, they're all right. I mean, they, they'll work for this. But if you actually look inside of here, the welds are pretty nasty inside. They don't even like connect. Now this is just one side. If you look across, the others look relatively decent. The bottom one's okay. Now this, Looks pretty good. That wraps around the actual, the, where the, the column, where the ball sits in. Now let's go on this side. These welds actually look decent. Like I said, I'm sure there's two different people doing this hitch because this guy was just having a better day. So they welded that pretty good. Now we're on the top of this hitch and I don't see anything wrong with it. Everything looks great. It looks just like a BMW hitch on top. And the quality of the metal they use is the same thickness and everything as the BMW, so it's really good quality steel. Now, I'm just speaking of how it looks. I don't know the strength, but, you know, it's a super heavy duty. I don't see anything wrong with it other than those welds, which I'm going to go on eBay and complain. If I get some kind of partial discount, I'm just going to go and grind off the paint and re-weld what they missed. Comes with instructions. It'll tell you everything that you need to know to do it. You know, it comes with a rubber garment that goes around the ball. The quality of the hardware, you know, it's, it's decent. Now, these are your main bolts that hold the whole housing together. It shows an FD 8.8 .8 on top of this bolt. Honestly, these will probably still work. So I paid $277 for this. And if you go to the BMW website or you just go look up BMW, on eBay, the same one is $549 without tax. What tax is, is close to $600. So you're saving a lot of money, half price. I honestly think it's worth it if you have welder to repair your welds and just throw it in there. But if you want to play it safe and buy American made products, go for it. All right, guys, quick follow up after installing this gooseneck hitch off of eBay. Like I said, this is just an eBay brain hitch. There is no brand to it. First of all, I was able to discuss the issues that I had with this hitch of the welds not being good. I emailed them on uh, eBay and let them know what's going on. And I sent them some pictures saying that the uh, welds were bad. And I told them that it was going to cost around $100 to get those repaired and painted. And actually they agreed and said, yeah, well, either you can send it back or we'll do a partial refund. So they sent me back a hundred bucks. So I think the hitch only cost me like 180 bucks for that hitch. And I welded it myself and I painted it. It's definitely proven itself because I've hauled well over 20,000 pounds with this truck countless times. So I've never had an issue with the hitch cracking. I've inspected the welds and everything and haven't really seen any issues with it. It held up just fine. Two downfalls to this hitch, okay? Well, let's say three, that's including the bad welds. First of all, this little pull latch to be able to pull it and you know flip your ball upside down to hide it. This is stuck and I'm unable to pull it with my hand. Third, BMW does a great job of allowing the ball to sit in there firmly. And with this off-brand hitch, the ball has 
a small amount of play in it. But I don't really see that causing an issue, but that is the third downfall to this hitch.